So today I'm gonna to walk you guys through a little app that I made for text sentiment analysis, and I'm building that in React, just a front-end app. So what we're gonna do basically is use a library called sentiment, and we're gonna enter in the text into a text area, and then this is gonna give us sentiment score and just kind of the general sentiment, whether it's negative, neutral, or positive. This tool allows us to um, search a list of words. This is AFIN or AFIN, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. That's It's a library that has like over 3,000 words in it with corresponding emotional valence values, ranging from negative five to negative one for negative, and then positive one to positive five for positive. I'm really eager to see what's out there for like artificial intelligence, machine learning solutions for this. I think the natural, the field of natural language processing is really interesting and what we'll be able to do in that in the future. But for now, this is just a simple, you know, free, cheap way of implementing this to get some sort of data. I think in future videos, I'm gonna do more advanced stuff like, uh, like use the Twitter API or uh, scrape some sort of website and get the content there. As always, I'll have all of the resources that I'm using in the description. So what I have set up here in the code is just kind of, this is our basic React starting template here. So just, we have our component, we have our uh, constructor, our state. Let's go ahead and begin with loading the library. So this is what I found, um, so this is called sentiments. So you can see here that's uh, a fin and base sentiment analysis for node. And we're gonna go ahead and import this into our React. Let's go ahead and install this. Okay, and now we're just going to import sentiment, capital S, from sentiment with a lowercase s. All right, what we wanna do now is create a new variable that instantiate the class sentiment. <clears throat> Let's create our state variables here. So we're gonna have we're gonna have sentiment. It's our raw score. And then general sentiment. Okay, and down in the JSX here, let's create a text area. And our results will be a couple of paragraph elements. This will be a sentiment score. And then we will inject in this.state.sentiment score. And then general sentiment will be this dot state dot general sentiment. And there we go. So of course we don't have anything yet. Let's, uh, now let's set up our sentiment function to use the library. Okay, we're gonna call it find sentiment. And we'll pass in the event because we're going to be using it with our text area here. Before we forget, let's bind it to our state scope. And we're gonna create a variable here that's um, called result. And that is gonna be our variable sentiment, which is our instantiated class dot and analyze is the function. Analyze takes the argument of whatever text we're gonna be analyzing. So in this case, it's gonna be our event dot target dot value. And so in order to get this, let's now pass in the function to an event handler on change for the text area. So this dot find sentiment. Okay, so now it's gonna be analyzing it, but we need to um, we need to see what kind of res results we get. So let's console log our result and see what happens. 
All right, let's take the last one here. Only word in here with emotional valency is good, and that's positive. So we have a score of three, and the way it's calculated here is good is three. Let's just, um, let's create, let's write a couple negative and then positive words, so. All right, let's see what that returns for us. So it's a positive score of two, and we have here our negative words are categorized and our positive words are categorized. So I think that's really cool. If you wanted to run this function on like a ton of text and just see what the most popular words were being used, you could create some sort of function that maps this array and then filters by like most popular words or something like that. For the score, here's our um, the key value pair here that we're gonna access from this object is score. And then we're going to create our own little conditional statement to then find the general sentiment. So let's start, set our state to sentiment score is equal to result.score. So let's, um, let's try this again. And there we go. So it is now calculating in real time what our sentence score is. All right, now let's, uh, let's find our general sentiment. Anything that's less than zero, we will just write negative. If the score is equal to zero, we'll write neutral. And if it's greater than zero, we'll write positive. Pretty simple. So let's go ahead and write this out. Okay, negative, positive, and neutral since those guys cancel each other out. All right, so now, now that we have this working, let's actually use it on sort of a real world example. I have a couple of items here that I want to check against this little function. So first for the negative, Today has been pretty rough with the stock market, so I'm going to be looking at the, the text body for this article. And then in honor of this just coming out, I'm going to look at the first very good review. And let's see what kind of scores we get here. So let me copy the text. Paste that in. The overall sentiment is negative with a score of negative 12 because of course the context of what this article is about is not very good. Uh, let's actually check out what words that it categorized. So here in the negative, we see all of these. And then in positive, we have a few here. All right, let's now try a positive example. Let's take this review, paste it in. And there we go, we have a score of 13, which means a general sentiment of positive. So there you go, go ahead and play around. Um, let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you, please give it a like, comment, and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.